Valley actually. Uh, doesn't he's just now started to travel like outside of there, but like we've been saying for a while, like this dude travels, he's insane. Really? Yeah. Really, really good. Be people like Meteor before out in the IE, so like really excited to see what he's gonna do outside of the IE. Okay, I followed everyone. Congratulations. What's okay, mine? so <laughs> 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 I'm just giving you a hard times, guys. Man. <laughs> so, so this is a Fire Emblem match? Yeah, it's going to be Ike versus Lucina, I believe. Hmm. I guess Lucina wins that? I'd assume on paper, so yeah. yeah. You know, having a counter is pretty solid against, you know, Krom and, or, or Krom and Ike. Yeah. But he said this guy's good, so yeah. I, I don't ex expect him to get counter killed. Like I, I sometimes you every, can't avoid it. Every like, good Ike, like sometimes you just can't avoid it, man. You, you, sometimes your options, you gotta go low and hope it works out. But you know, oh, Squiddy, the names, the names are wrong. Let's yes, yeah, there Ye we go. Yell there, we go. there we go. Production, it's on point. All right, let's I see how this goes. I think this is hard only because Lucina's aerials are better, and yeah, Ike gets edge guarded. So, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but, you know, Ike does kill insanely early if he's able to find his setups. Uh, but Tyrank's kind of a really patient player, honestly. He's able to just wait out, not running into Squiddy's nares, immediately uppies yeah, out of the situation. That's so good on Battlefield, too. You just get to the top platform for free. Ike sliding F tilt for Tyrank's, tries to go for a tech chase down yeah, smash, but out of shield all day. Oh, man, that... Okay, my guy loves Dolphin Slash. Yeah, Tyrinx just does not want to be near Squiddy, but Tyrinx goes really low. Squiddy looks for the down air, but he doesn't find it. Oh, What wow. a read on the air went, dodge with the f He went for a much harder setup. <laughs> he just went for an air dodge read instead of just getting like a nair up there on the platform. This guy likes his hard reads, I can tell. Which makes him pretty scary as an Ike player. Exactly. Oh. He looks for the nair the up air, but good DI from Tyrinx gets him far enough away. Oh, you're off stage now? Interesting. He didn't really play as aggressive off stage as I expected. But I guess it's good to just do that. <laughs> Stay on stage and wait for your opportunity. With yeah, I feel like it's too dangerous for Squiddy to go out there. Like, unless he has something guaranteed, like covers an air dodge in or something, oh he's not going to be able, able, in a good spot to go off stage because of the chance he gets reversal by Lucina. Yeah. But as I'm saying that, 0 to 57% there for Squiddy with so many of his aerials. And he didn't commit to up B to go to the ledge, so... He is a good Ike player. All right, Nair looks for the up air, but way too bye much bye. rage. They're not killing, actually. That's very surprising. Yeah, reach out the ledge now. Oh, he didn't up smash that. I guess he didn't expect the up B. Yeah, I feel like that uh, the up B from Ike was just something that started up right before, like, he was able to react to Tyrant's up B. Yeah, yeah. Buffered, uh, I guess. Okay, he does drop his first stock, but I still feel like, yeah, he's, he's not worrying about anything right now. <laughs> easy, easy for it till. Okay, decent combo there for Tyrex. Nice, go straight to the ledge. Oh, use the armor on the ether. Just get all the percent. Okay, tech chase, nice grab. Oh, okay, where's he gonna go? Ooh, that was a really risky side B. And he goes super deep off stage. That's nice. what you gotta do in this matchup, you know? I doesn't have a good recovery, and as Lucina, you're able to go out there and edge guard so incredibly well. Oh, he went for a dancing blade one setups. Nice, actually. Good damage. Yeah. Pretty even right now. Oh. Right, Nair goes for a fair, but good. D uh, the DI from Tyrings puts him behind instead. Yeah. Man, this guy loves his dolphin slashes out of shield. Unfortunately, they're not connecting like he wants them to. Yeah, it's really difficult to say these are good when, yeah, he's not really getting punished for them, but he's also not hitting Squiddy, and as soon as Squiddy catches on, that backer almost Barely kills. Got the shield drop on that one. Oh, oh, that was such a scary roll to go for it. Wait a minute. Has him at the ledge. Some decent shield pressure here. Oh, he messed up his platform drop back here. He got rolled instead, but there's the Dolphin Slash has shield. And that Where's one finally go? works. I like the little 50-50 there that puts Tyrant Singh. Does he dash back and try and punish it onto stage? Or does oh. he stay in counter? But the forward air covers so much of that platform. Oh, man. I got the ledge. So scary. Don't go for the down throw? Okay. Doesn't on a, uh, on a, 
Smaller stage would have killed it there. Oh. Commits to the F tilt. And I like that. As soon as he sees Tyrants commits to dashing back, he lets it go, goes to ledge. Up straight to the ledge. No invisibility here, but he doesn't catch the roll. He was too slow. And that was no. the time. Of all times, the up B out of shield. Yeah. That was it. That was a, such a lucky like dash attack on shield. But he I went for something. Much I feel like slower. he overestimated how laggy that dash attack was. You know, he mm. said, oh, it's a huge move on shield. I can F smash. No, no, yeah. no, no. Dang, that was really close. Tyrants did a good job bringing that back, actually. Yeah, I mean, he's keeping it incredibly close. Definitely could have been his game with just a couple of adjustments. But Squiddy is going to take the first game. Mm. Hope he doesn't get frustrated about that. Because that was a good game. Like, yeah. that could have gone either way. Yeah, I feel like he has to go into this one saying, okay, I know what I need to fix. It was so close. One or two adjustments can net me this next game. Uh, but he just can't be getting in his own head about losing game one. Yeah. I think this is a scary stage to take Ike, though. Especially this layout. I, I get scared of Nair up there on the platform on this stage a lot. I can see that, but I also, like, where do you take Ike? I'm sure, like, FD Man. Kalos are going to be banned. So you have to put him on some platform. Definitely don't want PS2. Battlefield wasn't good. Smashville also is bad. I feel like this is the next best stage. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Despite that, though, Tyrant's starting off pretty good here, at least with the percent lead. Okay, nice. Are you going to go off the ledge here? Oh, neutral get up. Man, Tyrant's just let him come back for free, pretty much. But there's the Nair. Even, nice. th even though Tyrant's lets him stand up, he doesn't let Squiddy out of the corner at all. He just kind of stands there. Walking back and forth, able to react to whatever Squiddy does, and finally goes in with the Nair, and it does name a stop. Yeah, that was good positioning for sure. A little float right there from Squiddy, just trying to weave in and out of Tyrants' range, baiting him to go for a single option. But Tyrants just having none of it, playing so patiently Ooh. as I say that his jump from ledge does get caught by a back air. Yeah. 39, not too bad, though. Oh, oh my god, and the, the shield, breaker. shield breaker push him to the edge, of course. That'll oh, do it, yeah. Now, even at 50, he's dead to that. Yeah, and we saw Tyrants going for that quite a bit on game number one, but he never was able to find it. This oh. time, though, not going to be the case. He is able to find the shield break and get an early, early stock and a huge lead on Squiddy already lapping him in percent. I like his dancing blade once in the air. It's really good. It always looks so cool, too. Right, Nair set up? Oh, okay, and that's what yeah. you were talking about with the platform. Yeah, yeah. He's not. He can't go for the up air after that one because it's not gonna kill. So I like going for back air for the damage there, for Ike anyway. Oh, okay. As him off stage, he's yet, yet to get a single eruption to connect so far. Like, still it's going just, for it. It's so difficult against Lucina because they have that hit of Dolphin Slash that pokes through the ledge. Yeah. If anything, if you know we're gonna go for that, you might as well just go like roll distance at the ledge. If like your timing's not perfect on eruption anyway. Alright, pin to the platform a little bit here. Tyrant's playing pretty patient. But down throw fair. Oh, up there instead. Gonna stay under him. Oh, a little bit swinging too early with the F tilt. Now he's at the ledge. Right, really good spacing right now for Tyrants. Oh, okay, that's a big eye combo. It doesn't catch the tech roll in. Man, that could have been huge for him, but no punish on the side beat. All right, we're going to go. Nice. Auto canceled it, too. <coughs> Got the center stage really safely. Oh, oh he's so up close to just dying. Barely not killing, but. Okay, I thought we were going to have to see an upbeat from Squiddy, but he knows that's basically the same as Just SD. He is able to get the let or the air dodge to legend. Now he has a little bit of momentum in neutral. Yeah, and Rage Ike's scary right now. Uh oh. Oh, oh my no. god, that was bad to on the back here. Is he going to get it this time? Nope. No. Nice stall in the up B. And that will do it. Nair into the up air. Squiddy brings it all the way back. Oh, man. Rage Ike robs another set. <laughs> but that was a...